So as a dog, it takes a lot to surprise you. You know, for, first off, dogs are not particularly brilliant, you know. So they kind of view everything as a little bit mundane. But it, it's hard. But let me tell you something. I woke up from a deep snooze yesterday. And I was like in a foggy daze. I'm like, do my eyes deceive me or do I see Madam Yes? She had a different hairdo, but I could tell straight off it was Madam Yes sitting on the sofa in the big parlor room. And the little girl dog was sitting right by her. When I woke up, the little girl dog bounded off the couch and ran over and said hello. She was so happy to see me. She was wiggling. It was a very nice little uh, you know, visit. I didn't know what was going on. I was wondering if I was stuck in my dog remembrance. Am I dreaming this? Am I really awake? But lo and behold, there it was. It was Madam Yes. She was just sitting on the sofa. And before I know it, here comes the man. He's pushing up the beer cart. It's like 4.15 in the afternoon. And uh, they're getting ready to tie one on. Well, that was yesterday. And they did. The party was over by about 8.30, but they were blotto. Me and the little girl dog actually went out and sat on the porch and just gazed at the stars. It was beautiful. We didn't say a word. It was just very quiet, very nice. And eventually we just hunkered down and went to sleep out there in the dewy evening. It was beautiful. But the funny thing about the whole trip, it turns out Madame Yes was stopping over for a day on her way to some place she was visiting or taking a vacation. She was just passing through. So she stopped in. She spent the night. The man and her had a bunch of drinks. They had a light dinner. I don't know if they ever hung out together after 8.30. I don't know what good it would have done him. He was so drunk, there's no way he would have been able to, you know, whatever, whatever. But, you know, it was just a nice little visit. But the one, the one uh, monkey wrench in the works was... When Madame Yes is coming through and spending just a single night in somebody's house, she lays down puppy pads for the little girl dog. That way she doesn't have to worry about getting so drunk she forgets to walk her. There's no mistake. So she goes around the, the, she went around the manor house and our chambers and she put down a few little pads here and there. Well, it turns out the dog, the little girl dog, she crapped on one of the uh, things. And the man didn't like it when he, when the man sees a bear little girl dog turd on a puppy pad it really turned him off and at one point he yells at me says you know what i don't get is you eat cat crap right out of the cat litter box all caked with cat litter and it's all disgusting and i gotta dig through but here here's a fresh turd sitting right out in the open doesn't have any cat litter or anything on it it's a glazed it's a glazed fresh un you know uh, unblemished dog turd you're not going to eat that. He kind of got mad at me. He had to go pick it up with a paper towel, and he was trying to convince me to go eat it off the puppy pad. I was like, that's not how it works. You have to be inspired. You have to crave the poop. The poop can't just be there for the taking. You have to sneak and get a poop. Or you have to discover a poop. You can't just be laying out in the middle of the room, fresh and warm. That's not really what draws a dog to want to eat poop, okay? So I was trying to tell the man, listen, you know, maybe if you leave it laying around a little while, who knows? Or maybe I'll develop a taste for a little girl dog puppy pad poop. I don't know. Right now, yeah, I love cat crap out of a cat litter box. But, you know, who knows? My taste, my taste may change. But we kind of got into a little beef over that whole situation. Anyway, it was a really nice visit. I loved getting to hang out with the little girl dog. They got there about 4.10, and they left probably about... 1 32 o'clock the, the next afternoon i'll never forget standing there watching a the little girl dog turn around and gaze into my eyes she was getting into a station wagon with madame yes and they were departing and she turned around and gazed in my eyes like she loves me and i could tell you know we we share something me and the little girl dog but when she drove away there was a yen there was a pang in my heart